over to North Freeway Hyundai, your number one source for all your Houston area Hyundai needs. Now on top of bringing you guys all of Hyundai's hottest new models for the 2015 model year, we have also been known for bringing you guys a little something extra special. And today is certainly no exception, because on behalf of the owner Paul Peebles here at North Freeway Hyundai, I am pleased to introduce you guys to our new dealership specific series of vehicles, the 2015 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sport Black Mountain Edition. So with all of that being said, we're prepared to offer you all a full on walkthrough of our Black Mountain and this of course does entail a complete startup and overview of the engine, as well as a good look at many of the unique and notable styling cues and multiple custom features and options that have been added on to an otherwise ordinary four-door Wrangler to turn it into a true one-of-a-kind custom. So, now that we have all that information in mind, let's go ahead and open this baby up and see what makes her so special. Now with each of these Black Mountain Edition Wranglers being unique to its specific VIN number, each one will be customized in its own specific manner. For a start, our particular example that we're looking at here is finished in the standard Hydro Blue Pearl, but has been customized with hand-painted purple and blue flames along each of the fenders and along the front grille. And acting as a beautiful contrast to this Hydro Blue Pearl exterior, our particular Wrangler's interior has been fully upholstered in the standard Rubicon Black Cloth upholstery. And also to finish off parts of this interior, some of the interior trim pieces have also been given the blue and purple Ghost Flame touch. And the moment you turn that key, you get that beautiful smooth purr of that new direct injected 3.6 liter Pentastar V6. Despite being a heavier four-wheel drive off-roader, the 2015 Wrangler features a surprisingly smooth electric assist rack and pinion power steering setup. The feel of the steering itself has a good bit of weight to it, but it feels light and fluid in your hands at the same time. Directions are all controlled via the standard design three-spoke multi-function leather trim steering wheel with touches of bright work around the airbag cover and logo, along with, in this case, the optional controls for everything from cruise control to hands-free radio, voice command, and Bluetooth connectivity. To go along with the much more modernized and potent V6 up front, the Wrangler's power can be delivered via either a standard 6-speed manual transmission for more basic models, or like in this example here, the optional Chrysler-built 545 RFE electronically controlled automatic transmission. This 5-speed gearbox also features a standard slapstick manual shifting mode for easier shifting on difficult terrain such as wet roads, steep grades, or rocky trails. On top of all of this, one thing that defines the Wrangler and four-door Wrangler Unlimited more than any other Jeep is the standard and rugged four-wheel drive system. Unlike the rest of the modern Jeep lineup where four-wheel drive can be equipped to certain models, but the focus has been primarily more on luxury, the Wrangler continues to be the only Jeep that stays as true to the old school as possible. With Jeep's command track shift on the fly four-wheel drive system routed down to a next generation Dana 30 solid front axle and Dana 44 heavy duty rear axle as standard for the sport, both of which feature standard 321 gear ratios as well, the Wrangler is the one Jeep that many will say deserves the trail rated badge more than any other model in the line. 
Another truly unique trait of the Wrangler and Wrangler Unlimited is the original method of opening the hood. Instead of a standard hood release and hood latch like many conventional vehicles on the market, the Wrangler uses a series of externally mounted hood clips and a giant latch underneath to keep it shut tight. This again is keeping in the theme with the modernization of a much older design. Above everything else, however, the biggest modern touch that you're going to find in the 2015 Wrangler lineup is, of course, the engine. Within the first few years of the JK Wrangler's production, first beginning in 2006 as a 2007 model, this Jeep originally featured a naturally aspirated 3.8 liter overhead valve V6 that many Jeep enthusiasts and car enthusiasts alike may recognize from Dodge and Chrysler's minivan division. But first beginning in 2012, the Wrangler moved on with the times and was fully upgraded to a much more modern modern day power plant. The 3.6 liter double overhead cam 24 valve V6 was dubbed the Pentastar series of engines and was originally fitted to the Wrangler as a direct replacement to the aging earlier 3.8 liter model. This new motor featured standard direct fuel injection along with variable valve timing to go along with it. All added together, the Wrangler's total horsepower output comes to 285 horses and 260 pound-feet of torque. However, with the standard four-wheel drive system and a base curb weight for the Unlimited of 4,100 pounds to lug around, fuel economy for the 2015 Wrangler Unlimited is rated at 17 miles per gallon in the city and 21 miles per gallon on the interstate highway, running on the recommended regular unleaded fuels. So now let's take a quick listen to that 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 and see what kind of soundtrack she can produce. It's got a very heavy feeling to the gas pedal. And even for only a V6, you can certainly feel that motion of the engine transferring into the cabin as the revs rise. But overall, a very beautiful soundtrack from that newly developed Pentastar engine. So now with all of that being done, let's go ahead and turn on the standard halogen headlights, pull the switch to turn on the fog lights, as well as turn on the hazard lights as usual. And let's take this brief opportunity to talk you through the custom exterior of this Black Mountain Jeep Wrangler. There's no denying that the Jeep Wrangler is one of the most unmistakable vehicles on the roads anywhere. Even here in 2015, they continue to stand firm in their heritage-filled slogan since 1941, a saying that refers back to the original Willys Jeeps of World War II. But in the modernized high-tech market of today's generation, the Wrangler has become a lot more about off-roading and customization while still maintaining a certain level of simplicity at the same time. Well, thanks to the creative genius of North Freeway Hyundai's owner, Mr. Paul Peebles, his 2015 Wrangler Black Mountain Edition is just such a case. As mentioned before, each of these Jeeps offered under the Black Mountain nameplate will be unique and individual, using a wide range of colors, options, and upgrades to create a true series of one-off customized Jeeps. Now, of course, the first step to any vehicle's customization is, of course, the exterior. In other words, how big of a wow factor can you create when someone first claps eyes on your brand new creation? The goal of our Black Mountain Jeeps is, of course, to show off the Wrangler's rugged off-road prowess, but to give them their own unique twist and options group all in one out-the-door package. 
This Hydro Blue Pearl example in particular gives off the appeal of a more subtle taste to this true hardcore off-roader, with our own Black Mountain dual tube bumpers front and rear, accented nicely in the front with the branded Angry Front Grille, and finished off with a set of Euro Light Guards and a nice pair of four LED fog lamps to finally tidy up the whole front end. It's also worth mentioning that being that each of these Jeeps are unique, Black Mountain's front tubular bumpers can and will vary in size and shape depending on how equipped. There's no doubt either that the Wrangler is quite a sizable vehicle on the road, even without all of the customizable options, at a length of nearly 153 inches long, 71 inches tall, and almost 74 inches wide, the Wrangler is definitely a force to be reckoned with on today's modern road. Adding on to the over 70 inch tall height of these Black Mountain Wranglers are unique sets of custom alloy wheels and suspension components that give off a truly mean appearance. Our bright blue Wrangler features upgraded 16 by 8 inch black steel rock wheels mounted on massive 315 75R 16 Corsair tires from Mastercraft. But of course, what's a big set of wheels without a big lift kit and suspension upgrade to boot? Adding even more presence to this absolute bruiser of a custom Jeep is a Daystar Comfort Ride 3 inch coil spring lift kit, complete with Scorpion shocks as well. But also, being the fact that this vehicle does have bigger wheels and tires, the speedometer has had to be calibrated, and this has been done using the included AEV ProCal speedometer calibrator. The Wrangler Unlimited to many eyes is the far more practical of the two models offered under the Wrangler's namesake. Most Jeep aficionados, however, more often than not use the two-door Wranglers for true hardcore off-roading, due to the shorter wheelbase being less of a hazard for snagging rocks and debris. But with the population exploding at such a rapid rate, the Wrangler Unlimited offers a solution to those seeking more passenger space without the sacrifice. The unique four-door layout of the Wrangler Unlimited offers comfortable space for five passengers, while not veering too far away from the Wrangler's rugged simplicity, look, and feel. Looking around the back of this Black Mountain Wrangler shows even more of the custom options that make this beast look mean. From the dual tube wraparound rear bumper that matches the dual tube front bumper with filler plates included and the Black Mountain fuel door, to the branded heavy duty rear tire carrier that accommodates for the bigger spare tire. On some of the more upper level Wranglers, a foldable soft top is also available. However, on this sport model in particular, it features a standard removable monochromatic or paint matched hard top that include padded roll bars underneath. Overall, however, the main goal with these custom Jeeps is to streamline a way for many first time Jeep buyers and enthusiasts alike to get their hands on a true custom one off vehicle, without the hassle of going through catalog after catalog to find all their own parts and order them themselves. As mentioned several times, each of these Jeeps will be customized in their own unique way, so once one of them is gone, chances are another is soon to follow, but more than likely in a different color or perhaps a different spec. Both Paul Peebles and North Freeway Hyundai, alongside exotic cars and Jeeps of Houston is very proud of our creations, and we hope you take as much pride in your custom Jeep purchase as well. So as we finish our exterior walkthrough, it's also worth mentioning that all of the custom options and prices on each of these custom Jeeps will be listed in detail on both our appropriate websites, both NorthFreewayHyundai.com alongside ExoticCarsOfHouston.com. So now that we've had a better look around the exterior of this Black Mountain Wrangler, let's go ahead and take a better look at what makes up the interior. And as we stated previously, this particular Wrangler Sport is sporting the upgraded black Rubicon cloth upholstery.
Now being that the Sport is the lowest end of the Wrangler Unlimited lineup, most of the features you'll find in this Jeep are manually adjustable, including both the passenger and driver's seat. You have your manual height adjustment, your manual recline, and manual distance control, all controlled via various levers and bars found throughout areas of the seat. However, even on that same statement, you do still get the standard powered amenities including keyless entry, power door locks, all four powered windows with automatic one-touch driver and passenger windows, and also powered mirrors. Also, as a quick little side note, those of you who are of a shorter stature may find getting into this Jeep a little bit harder than a standard one. Because of the fact this Jeep has been raised, you will have to step up a little bit higher than a standard Jeep Wrangler. When one sets foot inside the interior of this 2015 Wrangler Unlimited, they are immediately reminded that this Jeep is less about luxury and more about living up to its rugged reputation of being one of the best off-roaders ever sold in the entire world. You won't find anything like lashings of leather or anything like that, especially on this sport trim level being the most basic of the bunch. On upper scale trims, you may find things like leather seats and available navigation, but as far as those wanting the best off-road rugged ability and also having the least amount of comforts in some areas, then you're definitely looking at one of the best examples. As far as aesthetics go, everything is very simple to the touch. It's very hard and very firm, especially up across the dashboard. You won't find anything like a stitched leather dashboard or anything like that unless the vehicle goes through a little bit more of a customization process than this one already has. However, that being said, it's not a typical place that most people are going to put their hands. They're not going to be feeling up on the dashboard. The biggest thing they'll probably grab onto is this large sort of rubberized like grip handle that has been bestowed with Jeep's motto since 1941. Also with Jeep's logo and as you can see in this case like a lot of the trim pieces in the interior it's been given the blue and purple ghost flame touch. Now as far as the center stack goes, it is again nothing short of simplistic. You've got your standard radio, which includes MP3 and USB capabilities. You have a standard CD player, satellite radio, and so on. Then you also have your power window controls located right here front and center. A little bit of an easier reach than having to reach over here on the hard sort of plastic-like door surface, which in older Jeeps you might find a wind-down window. So it is nice that they've at least included a few powered amenities inside these modern day Jeeps. Now as far as the audio system goes, it's very simple to understand. You have your power button over here on the left. As you can even see, this Jeep here is so new, with only 15 miles on its odometer in this particular case, that it's even still wrapped in some of its factory plastics. But going back to the radio, you have AM and FM, satellite, disc or CD player, and also your auxiliary input located to the far bottom right of your radio control station. You also have your input listings, you have your music type, and you also have your radio setup. This vehicle also does come with hands-free Bluetooth with voice command and also your seek track buttons, uh, music information, and also your rewind and fast forward. Over over here on the far right hand side you also have your tune and scroll button so this allows you to select different radio stations and also allows you to adjust things such as bass, treble, fader, and so on. Then also finally these numbers down here are all for your preset radio stations. To set any one of them you just hold down on the number and whichever radio station you're on will automatically be set to whichever number you're holding down. Looking past the windows and your two small air vents that fold out as if seemingly out of thin air, you have your single zone climate control system. You have your fan speed over here to the far left with air conditioning recycling located right front and center so you just push the button and that automatically introduces it. Temperature controls right here in the middle and also introducing AC, you just push the temperature knob. Then also you have finally your climate zones, this being your face, your face and your feet, your feet, feet and rear and uh, front defroster. Then you also have full front defrost with your rear defroster being located as a push button on the climate control setting, as you can see. Looking a little further down, you have one 12 volt direct current outlet. So plugging in things such as maybe a phone charger or so, 
You have your hazard switch, you have your hill descent control or hill braking. This basically keeps the vehicle at a constant speed. Therefore, when you're going down steeper hills, the vehicle will then use its four wheel drive system to automatically keep you at a safe speed. Also, speaking of traction, you also have traction control and to the far left of that are your mirror controls, which is kind of an odd place for them because normally you would expect them to be kind of up here somewhere. And albeit the fact that the exterior mirrors themselves are manually folding and manually adjustable, you would think that the mirror controls would be a little bit higher up, but nevertheless, that is not a hindrance. Now, as we stated before, this thing features the six-speed automatic transmission with available manual shifting capabilities, but it also features the standard Jeep four-wheel drive system. Now, the controls for all this are very simple, and you saw how they worked before. Now, I'll go a little bit further in-depth with how to use the four-wheel drive system here. You do not want to leave the Jeep in park. Instead, you leave it in neutral, because neutral is probably the safest gear to be in, especially in an automatic Jeep. If you're in a manual, it's the same case. And as you can see right now, we are in two-wheel drive. You just pull it straight back, and that automatically puts it in the standard four high, as indicated by the four-wheel drive icon up there on the dashboard. Then you push it over to the right, pull down, that's neutral, then pull it all the way back, and that's four low. Now, four low automatically turns off your traction control, as you can see, and also introduces four-wheel drive. So overall, it's very simplistic. Now to actually get this thing out of four wheel drive, it is a little bit of a faff because you do have to push pretty hard on the knob to actually get it to go back to two wheel drive. So you give it a good push. And again, staying in neutral, we've gone all the way back to two wheel drive. Also, as you can see, you got this nice firm e-brake handle. It doesn't make too much noise when it goes up. It's typical of what you'd expect in a big Jeep like this. As you can see, you've got standard dual cup holders and also a dual tier center storage tray. As you can see, you've got another uh, smaller outlet right here and also the USB port located right here. As you can see, your smaller tier is located up top. And this is also lockable with the key as well. Now, as far as what's directly in front of the driver, you'll find pretty much all the standard things that you'll find on most Jeeps nowadays in their modern lineup. For a start, as we mentioned before, you have a full leather trimmed multifunction steering wheel sporting Jeep's three spoke design with nice little chrome accents here and there. On the far left hand side, you have your navigation button. So this controls your compass and everything right underneath, underneath your speedometer voice recognition, and hands-free Bluetooth, and page controls for other options found on this side of your display. Now over here, you have your standard cruise control function, so standard on, off, reset, and set, and also your cancel function as well. You also have a tilting and telescoping steering wheel, or at least tilting in this case. As you can see, it's fully manually adjustable. And as far as everything else goes, again, it's just aimed purely at simplicity. Everything in here is as simple as it can be. Just even closing the door, it sounds nice and solid, but again, very simplistic and very lightweight. And yes, in true Jeep fashion, these doors do actually come off. As you can see, you've got your power door locks, and again, more accents of the blue and purple hand-painted uh, inserts for parts of the trim. Now, as far as the door itself, you do have a little bit of kind of leatherette padding, but other than that, it's very firm to the touch all the way around. You also have a nice little storage pocket located down below. One final touch, as you saw on the exterior of the vehicle, is the addition of those front-mounted fog lights. Now, originally, when we first got into this Jeep, we couldn't find them. But up here, you can see they're located right on the pillar. Just flick the switch, and the orange light indicates that they're now on. Just one of the many custom options you'll find on these Black Mountain Edition Jeep Wranglers. Overall, this Wrangler is definitely something to behold, and for those looking for a little bit more in terms of customiza customization than your standard Jeep Wrangler, then you need look no further than this Black Mountain Edition Wrangler. Absolutely awesome. So with all that being done, viewers, let's go ahead and turn off the engine. And this key is actually pretty interesting because, let's say you have the vehicle's power on like you have now. If you try to turn it all the way back like a normal key, it's not going to turn off. You have to press in, and then finally the ignition tumblers release the key. Simple as that. So with all that being done, viewers, let's go ahead and check out the rest of the Black Mountain Wrangler. Now this being the Unlimited, it is the unique four-door Jeep Wrangler. It was a rather large jump for Jeep to include a four-door Wrangler as part of their lineup. 
Usually, Jeep had been known for producing two-door Wranglers instead, thus making this a little bit more of the heavier Jeep, but a little bit more family-friendly as well. As you can see, you got a full bench seat with room for three passengers, and these are 60-40 split fold seats. This entire left-hand section of the seat will fold completely flat, and the right-hand section here will fold flat as well, each of which accessed by these small little triggers at the topmost portion of the seat. And as you can see, they fold right back in place, no problem. Now again, stepping into this back, back of this vehicle, for those of you who are even taller like myself, it can be a little bit of a faff. But once you're inside this Jeep, depending on where the driver's um, position may be, you will actually have a little bit of adequate legroom. Now, of course, me being tall, I'm about six foot one, I don't exactly fit perfectly in this Jeep, but nevertheless, it is actually quite comfortable to sit back here. You actually also do have plentiful amounts of room thanks to this removable hardtop here. And as you can see also, this little portion here also has an extra set of speakers located right behind the uh, front two occupants. Also, you have your map lights on the inside here. And also, as you can see, you have a black mountain cloth kind of um, cover here built straight in to the upper roof rails. So overall, if you want that wind in the hair, Jeep loving experience, then the removable hardtop will definitely have to come off, but that's not such a bad thing. Just would probably have to wait for a better day like this, or than this to do it. Now to get into the back of the 2015 Wrangler is actually a two-stage process. The first stage being that you have to open the large door, which encloses the rear spare tire as well. Have to open it all the way. Then finally, the back glass lifts all the way up, revealing the rather large storage capacity in the rear. As you can see, there also are a few custom goodies that are already included along with this particular vehicle. You've got the heat shield, I do believe this is a windshield wrap, and you also have things like carpeted floor mats and so on. And also you have a small trunk hidden underneath. So you just lift up the rear floor mat, pull on this little tab, flip it sideways, and automatically you've got access to another little storage tray underneath. As you can see, this particular one, being that it has much bigger wheels and tires, has had to have the speedometer recalibrated, as you can see by this particular module here. Then to close it up, all you do, lift up like that on the little trigger, fold it flat, fold the floor mat down, and now it's in place. And to close it up is a simple reversal process. Just put the glass down, shut the door, and you're all good to go. Now as far as safety features go, the Jeep Wrangler isn't the safest vehicle on the road, however it does in include quite a few standard safety features. As now to make sure that you are absolutely 100% safe when taking this vehicle off-road or even on-road, Jeep has also included a few standard safety features. As you saw, this vehicle comes with hill descent control and traction control. It also comes with a few airbags as standard. So for example, you have dual stage front impact airbags on both the passenger side and on the driver side. Now again, for the final time, it is quite even a big step up, step up height, even for myself, just to get into this Jeep. It does have quite a significant lift on it, no less. But once inside the passenger side of the Wrangler, you do have quite a significant amount of legroom, even for someone as tall as I am. As far as everything else, like I said in the beginning, you do have this rather large grip handle right in front of you, so if you're going off-road and want to steady yourself, you do actually have something to grip onto. And one of the things that really does stick out is this custom paint. It really looks absolutely fantastic. As you can see included with this vehicle is the entire build sheet of, of all of the things that have been included with this Black Edition Wrangler.
as you can see. Now the glove box is not the biggest thing in the world, but it does have a significant amount of space. You can store things such as books, maybe a cell phone, and a few maps in case you get lost on the trail. But overall, the 2015 Jeep Wrangler Black Mountain Edition is certainly one way to get yourself an awesome customized Jeep without having to pay all the extra money for the customization to be done yourself. And as far as the Wrangler Unlimited itself goes, it's definitely a true off-road rugged vehicle. Simple as that. So folks, we hope you've enjoyed this up close and personal walkthrough of our dealership exclusive Jeep Wrangler 2000. And well, viewers, we hope you've enjoyed our rather exclusive walkthrough of one of our dealership exclusive 2015 Jeep Wrangler Sport Unlimited Black Mountain Editions. If you want to find out more information about these particular Jeeps, including the one you see here, feel free to visit one of two websites. Either visit NorthFreewayHyundai.com and visit under their pre-owned section, or you can visit Black Mountain Jeep's, Jeep's exclusive website at ExoticJeepsOfHouston.com. Either that or you can come visit us on location at 2440 Interstate 45 North in Spring, Texas. Until then, guys, we hope you've had a great time, and we'll see you all again very soon.